Hi everyone, welcome to another playthrough of Return of the King. We're playing the Palantir Saruman, and today I've chosen Gandalf as my character. So Gandalf, I love... First round you just have dead goons with swords. All you gotta do is use speed attacks against them. Pretty straightforward. Not much to say here. Take him out. So generally, you have enemies in waves, and uh, you get a red health potion after every level, and every five levels you get a projectile refill. The projectile pickup is 20 shots, okay? So I recommend saving those until um, you really need them. So when you're just fighting dudes with swords, infantry, I'll call them, uh, don't use the projectiles too much, or at all. Save them for later. I kind of like how uh, Gandalf has some individual dialogue here now and then. It's pretty cool. If you reach perfect mode at the end of a level, you will stay in perfect mode for the beginning of the next level. Keep that in mind. That's a little cool tip. So wave three is just a combination of the dead soldiers and some Urukai or big orcs. Big orcs, let's call them big orcs. Well, technically Urukai, because they're Bane of Sauron. <clears throat> I would advise getting into perfect mode. It's pretty easy to get in perfect mode, but of course your damage is higher when you're in perfect mode, so that helps. Wave four, you have a few uh, dead archers. If you want to conserve, you could take them out with melee, but um, I just zap them with my magic here, because we're in wave 4, and I know I could get a refill soon. So, dodge their arrows and zap them. Now, this is far easier than uh, Palantir of Sauron. If you've played Palantir of Sauron, that is a lot more difficult. The enemies will overwhelm you a lot more. So we're quarter way through. Not bad so far. They're not too inventive with these enemies. <laughs> it's like enemy A. Next round, enemy B. Next round, enemies A and B, half and half. Chicken or beef or both. Lentil soup or barley soup or both. Carrots or peas or both. Anyway, here I try to conserve uh, some of my projectiles by taking these guys out with melee. I'm very tempted to do my area of effect attack, but it costs 10 projectile, and I only have 9 right now. So I just kind of fight them. One suggestion is that if you use a couple of combos, try to link up your glowing attack at the end. That can destroy a shield and try to aim it at the direction of where the enemy is, if it's a shielded enemy. Sometimes these enemies just run in circles, they don't fight you. It's like a, it's like one of those cliched 80s movies where the um, protagonist encounters a gang of goons and the goons fight the protagonist one at a time or two at a time. 
instead of all just dogpiling him. You see what I mean? <laughs> now, I don't do the best playthrough of this um, in terms of avoiding damage because I get a little impatient. But uh, if you want to minimize your damage, you have to parry a lot and wait for a, par a window of opportunity to break your opponent's shields. Okay, that's what I recommend. I also recommend using Legolas to beat this. Of course, uh, every character is different and it, they're pretty fun to play in their own way. But Legolas has a, if you, he charges his projectile really fast and he shoots two of them if you upgrade him fully. And uh, he's able to essentially take out. And on top of that, his uh, projectiles will penetrate through one enemy and get, so he could potentially get up to four or five kills with one charged attack. I uh, kind of play sloppily here, but anyway, I still advance. I say Palantir of Sauron is pretty fun, and the Palantir of Sauron is just ugh, kind of a grind to get through. Stage 11, you have a load of spiders. I think that's it, just spiders. I don't like fighting spiders, they're annoying. And uh, don't be afraid of the big ones, they don't have that much health. They have the same health as the normal ones. One time I had a friend call over me and a couple of buddies because she was terrified of a spider. She called all of us to go to her place and kill the spider. And I was like, I'm gonna pass on that. So me and two other, uh, my my buddy, my three other buddies drove over to kill one spider for her. And the next day at work, she was like, you didn't come. I was like, do you really need that many people? Seriously? I mean, look at Gandalf here. He's taking out an entire family of spiders. What a guy. Wave 12, you gotta be really defensive here. Here I splurge and use my area of effect to knock out a few shields and give myself some breathing room. Of course, you don't have to do this. You could uh, be very patient and mash the parry button to avoid damage. And then when you have a window of attack, break the shields one by one with the fierce attack. And once all the shields are broken, try to harm the shielded enemies. Then you'll have the archers left. And with the archers, just parry until you have a window to fight back. It's a test of patience and, of course, uh, dexterity and strength in that finger that you use <laughs> to smash the block button. That's right. Round 13 is a little bit easier because you can Bane move all of these uh, shielded pikemen. So that's one strategy, that's one way to do it. really like these levels. They really test you, your, your whole ability. And I, and I like how they're unlocked at the end of the game. Uh, 
I wonder how much Sir Ian gets paid just for saying return to the pits. Probably more than I make in a year. I love Sir Ian McKellen. Love him as Gandalf, love him as Magneto. There's a lovely video of him uh, making French, no, not French toast, making uh, scrambled eggs on YouTube. So if you could find that, that's a lovely watch. Go check that out. Sometimes it's faster to tap once your speed attack, pause and tap quickly. Pause quickly and tap again. That's faster than tap tap, I think. I like to pick off stragglers that way. At this point, it doesn't matter. You know, don't try to be a perfectionist and get all the perfect kills. You'll get enough perfect kills. And does it really matter at this point? Because levels 11 to 20 don't do anything. Your character from level 10, fully upgraded, to level 20 is basically the same. And I kind of wish they remastered this game. They could um, add some new... Maybe new abilities, new upgrades past level 10, you know. Some ideas I have in my mind. Um, like maybe your character could have more health and maybe a 50... 50 chance of revival if he gets killed. 50% chance of just reviving with 50% health, maybe. Maybe there could be a Bane move for these mini-bosses that uh, has a recharge meter. You can't use it all the time, but you could use it once every 40 seconds or so. Something like that. Maybe another upgrade to allow you to carry more projectiles. Hmm. Just stuff like that, you know, just thinking out loud here. Such a good game, so ahead of its time. Such a simple and short game too, that has a lot of uh, replay value. You can play all the missions with all the characters. And, um, yeah. When you play Paths of the Dead, you could also get some neat dialogue with the hobbits. Okay, so, yeah, for this one, I activated my shield because these guys can be... They can overwhelm you quite easily. So, I'm glad I saved my shield for round 17, and I recommend you guys do the same. For the next couple of rounds, you'll have some trolls, so um, you have a few seconds before the enemies come at you, so charge the attack and try to take out the trolls, because they're the most dangerous. And there, Gandalf is so OP'd. Just takes out everything. They also should release this for Steam, get some achievements, you know? Like, say, you could get an achievement for killing 5,000 enemies, getting per perfect kills, something like that. Get an achievement for beating the path of the wizard, get an achievement for performing 500 Bane moves, I don't know. Stuff like that. Get achievement for slaying a hundred trolls. Get achievement for getting 12 kills in perfect mode. You know, just stuff like that. That'd be cool. 
This was back when EA was cool. They didn't have all those stupid microtransactions. Here I have a really close call, and I just said, okay, I'm a bail now. And he still hits me, so I was really worried here. I thought this would be over, so I was like, I gotta kill this troll ASAP. Otherwise, he's gonna chase me and just kill me. There's nothing I could have done. So I made the right move there. I totally miss. I wanted to take out the other troll too. Uh, luckily I did right after I made that mistake. Gandalf says, courage is your best defense, but uh, Gandalf's best defense is mashing the parry button. That's what it is. Definitely not trying to get a uh, you shall not pass attack in the middle of being overwhelmed by all these enemies. But eventually he has overcome the tide and he has turned the tide and defeated his enemies. Yeah, baby. And just to show off, he tells them they shall not pass. And that is it. That is the plant here of Saruman. Suck it, Saruman. Wish there was a boss fight at the end.